Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. I am sitting with this black sparkle trying to do a swatch. It's not a lot of sunshine in the window today, but it's still daylight and I have already done one swatch. I'm doing this, I started this last night. This is um, Sarah's one, like I said, I'll be knitting of a night time with the light colour in the black during the day. Well, I did a swatch for this one. I'm going on to the basket stitch, just a small basket stitch. That was the swatch I did for, for this one. And while well, that one is great, I can see the stitch perfectly without any problem whatsoever. And I'm going to keep these, any little swatches I do like this, I'm going to keep them. I could maybe end up sort stitching them together and make a blanket. I think I've got one or two other ones somewhere. I usually just pull them out after I finish, just in case I need the extra, extra little bit of wool. But I know I've got plenty for this one without this swatch anyway. But that was the swatch I've done for Sarah's because it's a small basket stitch, this one. And I'm doing that one in a, a two by two rib instead of the single one by one twisted rib that I normally do. So when I do the bands on this one, I probably have to do the band sideways because I don't think you can do a two by two rib upwards. <laughs> but anyway, that's for that one when I do it. But oh, there was another little thing with this. Um, Kate, who gave me a... Well, I think she must have given me a shout out on um, her channel. She is um, something home. I can't remember the um, the name of her. Um, I did subscribe to her channel, um, but she had sent me some happy mail, um, a couple of happy meals actually. But I looked at one of her videos, and she showed how to cast off. This this is cast off. Usually, when you cast off, um, just an ordinary knit stitch. There's no give in it whatsoever. Well, she showed how to do it so you get a very stretchy thing like that. And I tried it just out of curiosity on this swatch. And it's really great. It's really stretchy. So thank you, Kate, for that information on your one of your videos it was I was looking at. And that'll come in handy. If you know if you do a, um, a sweater where you have so many rows rib and then you knit just ordinary stocking stitch so that little bit rolls over down over the um the rib well you need to be able to do a cast off stitch like that for that sort of thing otherwise if you do an ordinary cast off well this is um when you're casting the stitches off you knit one stitch and put the um the wool forward knit your next stitch and then you cast off that stitch that you've made and then the other stitch that you had knitted so you're actually casting two stitches off to each thing and that's how you get the stretch like that and that's something i learned from someone else something i never ever thought of before so that was that was a great idea that case so thank you very much for that information but i started thought doing a um a swatch for um this is claudette's cardigan i'm doing now I thought, I'm not very happy knitting with black normally, but I thought I'd see what pattern I could do. And I've tried to do the same pattern, the basket stitch on there, and you kind of, it's very hard to see it. And when I'm knitting, I'm just having trouble seeing it at all. So Claudette, you're going to have a plain, just stocking stitch cardigan. I cannot do this. The only way I can make out this really is by the feel of it, if I'm putting my fingers along I can feel the different stitches in it in the pearl but if I made a mistake I wouldn't see it but that people might see it but I wouldn't see it so I couldn't put it right and there's just no way I can knit any pattern whatsoever on black but I think that it has a you know the sparkle on it you can see the sparkle a green sparkle I think that's enough pattern on it anyway so that's I'm just going to knit that one stocking stitch for you, Claudette. So, so if you're watching, <coughs> that's what I'm going to do because um, I cannot do any kind of pattern on on black. It's too my eyes just aren't young enough to put it that way. <laughs> and I finished this little cardigan here. 
I finished this one this morning for um, Sue. And this is Mariner's. I know I have the label somewhere in Mariner's. Not that one. I've got a load of labels in here. It's one of these is the Mariner's one. Oh, that's probably it there. Yes, Mariner's there. This is Mariner's Super Soft Baby. And it seems to be a little bit thicker. Because I knit this thinking it's like any baby, baby wool I've knit in. It was supposed to be an 18 to 19 inches and it's more like a 20 inch. So the little baby when he comes along so is going to get more wear out of this than um, I thought. Because it does feel a little bit thicker as well. It is supposed to be double knitting, but it feels thicker than any baby double knitting I've knit with um, before. But that's the first time I've ever tried um, Mariner's baby. I think this was a ball that Sandra sent to me. It is 100% acrylic and it does say... doesn't actually tell you the, um, the needle size on here. But I think I could have knitted this. It is rather close, actually. The you can probably can't see on there, but I think I could have knitted this on a, um, a four and a half millimeter needle instead of the um, the four because I think it has come out a little bit thicker. But anyway, that one's finished. <coughs> Buttons on as well. I put the you know they are those mill edge buttons because you get like a little like a rope shape around the edge of the buttons. I get most most of the buttons I get. I buy them in bulk from um, places like eBay or um, Amazon if um, if I can find them cheap enough um, on there. Like so, that's most of the buttons I have are them ones. Unless there's any I bought in packs of going cheap anyway, <laughs> like the ones I got in home bargains. Like. So that's that one done. But I'm keeping that one until I finish the other little one that I'm doing for, for Sue, which I'll be doing a little bit of this tomorrow in the morning. I'll do this in the, in the morning. I'll do maybe a little bit of odds and ends in the afternoon and then from about just before tea time I'll start on my orders, which but I'll probably be doing this black one earlier on in the day because of the um, the colour. But we are getting a lot more light of a night time because um, the, the, the nights are getting long. Well, the days are getting longer and the nights are getting shorter at the, um, the moment. But not today. It's quite a dull, dark day today. It's nothing else but rain. So I'll get a little bit more of that one done <coughs> uh, tomorrow. And then... Hopefully, I can get a little bit of these sort of things that I've been supposed to be doing a tutorial. I've done a little bit. I've started it off the tutorial, but I'm doing it all in little bits and joining them together and, and hoping to put them all up in one go. But I have been asked for, my Carol's asked me to do a, um, a tutorial when I start the little, the pink when I saw the um the two little pink rosebud lace ones, she wants me to do um tutorials with these. I think I have a twenty inch. Yes, I have a twenty inch um rosebud lace tutorial on my other channel. She loves just knitting, so that's where these tutorials go up. They go up on my other channel. My she loves just knitting, but. When I get time, when I get started on these, as I start these, I'll be doing a little bit out of time, the, um, the, the tutorial for the 22 and 24. And another lady, <laughs> um, Joyce. Joyce asked me about this. Well, she called it a ghillie. It's a, um, it was just a waistcoat I tried to make. It's not knitted, Joyce. It's crochet. And there's no way I'd ever do a tutorial on any clothes in crochet. This started off, well, you can imagine me, I am, I do have to do about 42 to 44 
for anything I wear. Now this was supposed to be 38 when I started off and when I got the pieces finished and I, I stitched the sides up and I put it on these I've got a pin here to keep it together at the moment but these pieces were about as far apart as that on me and I took it to my granddaughter and she's 34 to 36 and it was a perfect fit on her <laughs> so what I had to do you probably can't tell on here but I'll turn sideways and you can see I un unpicked the, the side down here and I crocheted I joined the yarn what I had left of the yarn I joined to one side and I crocheted a border a panel about that wide and put it in down there fixed it in down there and on the other side and at least it's a bit of a better fit now and that's why I will not do any tutorials on crochet because I'm not an expert at crochet as you can tell even this one I started the neck thing but I didn't go far enough in this neck the the neck here the v-neck should have come about here but it comes too far out it's nearly a, a button up actually like the way that is so I just do not know as much about crochet as I do about knitting and I'm not that interested in crochet I don't mind doing coasters I'm good at doing coasters and dishcloths and anything you know those sort of things but I will not do clothes anything to do with clothes cardigans sweaters anything like that and crochet because they never come out the right size and I'd be sitting crocheting for nothing because it's, <laughs> I would not send something out if it didn't fit so I'm very sorry Joyce but <laughs> like you say you thought it was knitted but it's not knitted it's crocheted and it's not one of my things look at it that way I'll stick with um, what I know best which is my knitting and I'm just going to pull this little bit out that I've done here because I know I cannot do that any pattern because I can't see the pattern so I'm just going to cast on the stitches and do the um the plain thing for um Claudette pick the ball up and wind the ball back up it's one of my hairs it could look like it wasn't part of the um, the glitter that was in here, but it was shining white through it. I've got some white hairs, some grey hairs, some brown hairs. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to start Claudette's here and see how much I can get done of that before the light disappears. At least if it's just plain knitting, I can probably knit a bit longer than um, I could with uh, anything with a pattern on. So I think that's my little bit for today. I'm not sure if any, anybody was asking anything else. I'll probably have to go live sometime and uh, you can ask all your, your questions there again sometime. Like it'd be better than me trying to remember what was in the comments. But anyway, give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.